brand new Fox polls are spelling bad news for President Biden, including this one showing former President Trump ahead of Biden by 13 points among voters under 30. That same poll showing only 14 percent of registered voters say Joe Biden's economic policies have actually helped them. Host of the Grace Curley Show, Grace Curley joins me now. Good to see you as always, Grace. Look, young people always vote Democrat, except when they don't. What do these numbers tell you? Well, you know, Todd, we've been talking so much about this matchup and how, you know, some people don't want the same matchup as 2020. And I've been guilty of this, too, thinking about, you know, how is it going to play out? But what people forget is now these young voters, they've seen both. They've had Trump for four years and now they've almost had Biden for four years. And so while I think it was easy for a lot of people to get so worked up about mean tweets and, you know, the media's outrage over everything Trump said, I think now they've had experience with inflation. They've had experience with wars breaking out and maybe they're realizing that they prefer mean tweets to a lot of these real world issues that they're now looking at. 44% of voters think the economy will get worse in the next year. Layer that onto the numbers I read earlier, where only 14% of people say Joe Biden's economic policies have actually helped them. And combine that with the fact that he's not winning the youth vote. Grace, what is his path to victory? I don't know right now. I think maybe he's just hoping that. And I heard this once and I thought it's really true. Democrats always come home and they're better at that than Republicans. You know, they always do end up just going in and holding their nose. And he's probably banking on that right now. And it's it's not a terrible plan, but it's certainly not the kind of strategy you'd hope that someone would have going into a presidential election. I think you're 100 percent right on that point. In the end, Democrats always come home and Republicans always get distracted and get upset <laughs> and end up not voting and end up losing elections. Meantime, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar says she warned Joe Biden about about losing the Muslim vote over the Israel-Hamas war. Quote, Muslims were very pivotal to his election. They mobilized in all the key states. Young people were very instrumental in getting him elected. And what I reminded him is that he needs to listen to these voices. People are heartbroken. People just want the images of young children's bodies that are piling up to end. And they want our support for this to end. Does that electoral pressure from Ilhan Omar to Joe Biden explain the increasing pressure that Joe Biden Biden's putting on Benjamin Netanyahu right now. Absolutely. And, and you know what, Todd? I disagree with Ilhan Omar on almost everything. But I think her tactic here, which is to pressure Joe Biden, is a smart one because it's worked before. I mean, this is a guy who caved to a heckler at a fundraiser just a few weeks ago. He had one heckler in a room full of people who were supporting his stance um, as, as far as supporting Israel. And he, in the course of that fundraiser, backed down to the heckler. So she knows Joe Biden hates to feel feel like people are mad at him. Joe Biden makes decisions based off Twitter backlash and based off polls and not based off his convictions or, you know, how he truly feels or any sort of agenda that he's pushing. He's very wishy-washy with these things. And she knows that he caves to pressure. The squad is really good at getting their way. And they have a really good record. They have a better record than Joe Biden does. So you're already seeing this. You, you can see that he's, he's fearful of losing this part of his support. And I think it's a smart strategy, honestly. 10 seconds to you. Can Joe Biden win back the Muslim vote? And if so, what does that mean for the Jewish vote? I think if he's going to win it back at this point, he's going to have to cave and, and knowing Joe Biden and just hearing some of the things that he said recently about Israel, I think he will cave. And that is not good for the Jewish vote. You're seeing a lot of staunch Jewish Democrats saying no go to Joe in 2024. Grace Curley, thank you very much for your time. With that, Fox and Friends begins right now. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.